If you love the look of foiling on cards, but you're not quite ready to invest in foil plates and a foiling machine, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video, I am going to share the latest releases from Thermaweb of their adhesive transfers. You may remember the last video that I made about Thermaweb's adhesive transfers, sharing that you can create foiled effects on your cards with just your die cut machine or a very very cheap laminator. And so many of you after seeing that video asked if they were going to come out with different and new designs. Well, I am happy to report that they have and I have a bunch to share with you today. So let's take a quick look at some of the options that are available and then I'll share how to use them. First up, let's take a look at the Deco Foil Adhesive Transfers Oh Hello. You get two sheets in the Oh Hello set and each sheet has three different sizes of large hellos as well as sub sentiments that can be used to foil. The stamp and die set Oh Hello has these stamps and then dies. The dies can also cut out the same size adhesive transfer. So that's really nice to have. Okay, next up is the Happy Everything. Same thing, you get two sheets. There are three different sizes of happies and then a bunch of sub sentiments. The stamp and die set is the same. It cuts out the three happies and can also cut out the adhesive transfer. So you can see I did that there. This set is called Cheers. There are two sheets in this set. There are a bunch of cocktails and then a bunch of fun sentiments. There are no dies for this set. Next up are the A2 card front sentiments. So Oh Hello has three sizes of hellos and sub sentiments. You can see there are two different types of sheets in the pack and there are different sub sentiments on each sheet. This is the Happy Everything set. And once again, the dies from the Stampin' Die set cut out the toner card front sentiments as well. The two different sub sentiments in the Happy Everything set are here. You can see birthdays, it's good to be, and all kinds of other sub sentiments. Now that you've seen some of these fabulous designs, let's use some of them with the die cut machine to create foiled effects. If you haven't seen my other video or if you need a refresher on how to use the deco foil adhesive transfers, the first thing you do is cut out the design that you want to use. Now there is a front part and a back part. You cut them out together and try and cut close to the design without cutting through the design at all. You don't want to cut through the adhesive. Then peel off the back protective layer and lay this front piece that has the adhesive stuck to it on a piece of cardstock or paper. And I just like to smooth that out. You don't have to press down hard or anything, just smooth it out. So I'm gonna peel off the back protective layer and then I'm gonna lay it down. This is a great way to use up some cardstock strips of paper or scraps of paper. You can get a bunch of foiled sentiments on different colors of cardstock. I wanted to share all three designs of the happy and then I wanted to share a couple of sub sentiments as well when I'm doing the sub sentiments I want to make sure that all of the sentiment itself is on the cardstock. If you have a little bit of the clear plastic hanging off the bottom, you can just trim that off. There's no adhesive behind any of the clear parts. There's only adhesive behind the black printed parts. So I'm gonna do some sub sentiments on all of these little scraps of paper as well. I'm gonna put them inside a Thermoweb carrier sheet. This is going to just protect them from anything that might be on my die cutting plates. Then I'm gonna create the sandwich that I I would use for thin metal dies and run this sandwich through my die cut machine. That's going to adhere the adhesive to the cardstock. Now I'm cutting bits of foil that will match up to the adhesive transfers. Then carefully and slowly peel off the top protective layer. You don't wanna go fast because you don't wanna rip the adhesive and you don't want the adhesive to stay stuck on the plastic. You want it stuck on the paper. Once that's done, you're gonna take your foil piece and put it down on the adhesive with the color side facing up towards you and the silver side facing down towards the adhesive. And I'm just gonna cover all these up and then put them 
back in the carrier sheet so that I can put them back in the die cut machine with the same exact sandwich that I used before and run them through the die cut machine. Then carefully peel and reveal and you'll see these gorgeous foiled sentiments that you've created. Super quick and easy, no heating up a laminator, all you need is your die cut machine and these amazing deco foil adhesive transfers and some deco foils. So this is a really affordable way to get into foiling. I did wanna show you the oh hello as well. So again, we're gonna trim down the hello, then we're gonna peel off that back protective layer and we're gonna lay it down on some cardstock or paper. I'm gonna do this same thing with a sub sentiment. I'm going to do it right underneath because this one I'm not going to die cut out. I'm going to use it as is. So again, peel off and then I'm going to put this one down at the bottom because I am going to die cut that hello and use the sub sentiment as a sentiment strip. This one I'm going to leave as is. All those go inside a carrier sheet and then through the die cut machine in a sandwich that you would use for your thin metal dies. Super simple keep it easy. Then you're going to trim your foil pieces down to cover up those designs. And then you're going to peel off the top protective layer again, slowly and carefully so you don't tear any of the adhesive or just get some of it stuck to the plastic. You want it all transferred to your paper and then place your foil down, color side up, silver side down, smooth it out and then into the carrier sheet and run it through the die cut machine one more time. So two passes through the die cut machine, once to transfer the adhesive and once to transfer the foil. And you're using the pressure of that die cut machine to transfer both. So then you can see when I peel off that foil, I've got the foil stuck down to the adhesive, stuck down to the cardstock, simplest, easiest way to add foiling to your cards. As far as I'm concerned, this is just quick and painless. You can use a whole bunch of designs on one card if you wanted to. So I'm gonna cut out all these little cocktail images. I'm gonna peel off that back protective layer. I'm gonna make like a border on the side of a card front. Okay, I just dropped it there, which means that I transferred some of the adhesive to my glass mat, which was a total accident. I'm just gonna show you, it's not a big deal, we'll fix it up. So I'm gonna peel off that top protective layer, lay down my foil, trim it, and then run it through the die cut machine. And once I peel it off, I can see the one that I messed up. There is like a missing glass there. So I'm gonna find the same exact shape, cut it it out of just a single image and then I'm going to lay it right on top, lining it up on top of the one that already existed. Then I'm going to find the exact place of the rainbow foil that I'm missing and I'm going to cut out just a small square there. And once I do that, I'm going to peel off that top protective layer again, being really careful. I want that whole glass to transfer. I'm going to place that little bit of foil. You can see that I have purple at the bottom in the one next to it and blue at the top. So I'm going to make sure that I have both of those colors on this glass as well. I'm going to rerun that through the die cut machine and then when I take it out of the carrier sheet and peel it off you can see that I fixed that spot that I had messed up. No problem. For the sentiments for these again there are no dies so just cut them out put them down on some cardstock, run them through your die cut machine, peel off that top protective layer, lay down some foil, and then rerun it through your die cut machine with the foil on it. Then you peel off the foil and you can see some gorgeous sentiments. This is just a really fun, playful set. Now let's try using a laminator, both with the adhesive transfers and with the toner sheets. What if you don't have a die cut machine? You're gonna do it the same exact way. You're gonna cut out the design that you want. You're gonna peel off the back protective layer. You're going to lay this down on your cardstock and then smooth it out just like we did before when we were prepping it to go through the die cut machine. This time you're going to use a laminator. So while I'm doing this, I have my laminator heating up. I want it good and hot. Just a reminder here, you can work on lots of different mediums. In the previous video, I used vellum, I used acetate. 
This time I thought I would try some pattern paper and then one of my favorites is to use a black cardstock with foiling because the foiling really pops on the black cardstock. So once I have all of my sentiments placed down, I'm gonna place it in a carrier sheet. The folded edge of the carrier sheet is gonna go into the laminator. Once it comes out and it's cool enough to touch, I'm gonna peel them off. You can see that the adhesive is stuck down. Now this time we used heat to stick it down. Same thing though, we're gonna place a piece of foil with the color side up, silver side down onto that open adhesive. And I wanted to also let you know that you can use two different colors of foil here. So cover one of the designs up with the blue foil and then cover another design up with rainbow foil. That's another nice thing about these is that you can really play around with multicolor foiling. This time I am going to use this glitter foil, which is so much fun. Again, this is really important to use that carrier sheet because all those little bits of foil can get jammed up in your laminator. And you wanna use the folded edge inserted into the laminator to keep keep everything inside that sort of sandwich. And then when it comes out and it cools and you peel off the foil, you can just see how amazing it looks. This time we used heat, last time we used pressure, but either way, you get amazing results with the deco foil adhesive transfers. They're so easy to use. They are just, there's no mistakes with these. Okay, so next up, we're gonna use the toner card front sentiments. These are A2 sized pieces of cardstock with toner printed on them. For this one, I'm gonna cover the whole thing with some Mystic Rainbow foil. And again, color side up, silver side down, inside a carrier sheet, run it through a laminator that is good and hot. Once it comes out and it's cool enough to touch and handle, you can peel off that foil. And the great thing about the Mystic Rainbow is that all these sentiments are now different colors, which makes it really easy because then I can die cut out those sentiments or cut the sentiment strips. The other way to do this is to cut out the sentiment first. So I'm using the die to cut out the large happy. I'm gonna put that inside the carrier sheet and put some foil on top. Again, color side up, silver side down, and then I'm gonna fold up that carrier sheet and once again, put the folded edge inside the laminator. So that is just two different ways to use it. Once you peel this off, you can see it's absolutely gorgeous either way. Either die cut it and cut them out first or color them all with one color of foil and then die cut them after. Now that we have a bunch of foiled effects, let's turn them into cards. For this first card, I'm using that background that I created with the border of different cocktail glasses. I'm gonna trim it down to four by five and a quarter, and then I am gonna trim the sentiments, the cheers, and then the other sub-sentiment down, those were foiled on different colors of cardstock. I am going to trim down the panel a little bit more so that I can see the pattern paper around the edge. I'm gonna pop up the cheers on some Thermoweb white foam squares, just enough to mention, and then I'm gonna use some Memory Runner XL, which is their great tape runner, to adhere the here's to you down underneath. Really quick and easy once you have these foiled elements all done, and they are so easy to do. I'm gonna take the happy birthday again, trim it down, put it on some pattern paper. All these embellishments and pattern paper and things that I'm using are from a Spellbinders birthday kit that is still available. So I will link to that down in the YouTube description box under the video if you're interested in checking it out. But it has a great assortment of chipboard and little party hats and more for these cards. And I really like combining the big impact Thermoweb Happy with the sub-sentiment with the delicate elements from the card kit because the card kit also has foiling on their embellishments. So it all just really works well together. If you're die cutting a foiled element, be sure not to put any pixie tape over the foil because when it runs through the die cut machine, it will remove the foil. I'm gonna put some pattern paper down on that piece of cardstock that I had already die cut the Happy from. Don't forget you can always do that because you're going to put this on a card base so you're never going to see that die cut opening. I'm going to trim down the birthday to a sub sentiment. I'm going to add a little party hat, some white foam squares behind the happy. And I just love the combination of gold with the pink and orange and little hint of yellow. I'm going to put a little Memory Runner XL behind the birthday, which is the sub-sentiment. And I like all the different dimensions and levels of dimension on these cards. The foiling can't be beat. 
For this card, I'm just gonna add a chipboard cake. I have the happy, which I'm gonna put some tape runner behind, and the sub sentiment, which is birthday. The nice thing about these really gorgeous foiled sentiments is you don't have to add a ton to the card. A little bit of pattern paper, maybe some chipboard embellishments, and you've got a quick and easy card with a stunning wow factor, which is that foiling. For this one, I did add a bunch of little die cuts, one of those little party hats with the pom-pom on it, and you can see the pattern paper as well with that back uh, mat, which is black. And so everything just really pops off the card. So I'm gonna pop up one of the small flowers and just tuck it behind the hat. And then I have these little asterisks in gold, again, from that Spellbinders kit, the gold foiling is perfect to match with the foiling from these Thermoweb sentiments. Again, when you're die cutting, don't forget to keep the pixie tape off the foiling and then cut down your pattern paper to four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna cut down this sub sentiment to a thin strip and I'm gonna run it all the way across the card. I haven't done that in a long time and I really like the way it looks, especially on that bold pattern paper in the background. You don't need much more than a foiled sentiment and sub sentiment. For this one, I am just gonna add this cute little chipboard sun to the top. The sentiment says, hello sunshine. And I thought that was just a fun, sweet card as well. This one is a cloud pattern for the pattern paper. It says, it's good to be happy. And then I'm just gonna grab a bunch of the die cuts from the kit. What I love about those Spellbinders kits is they have a ton of elements in there. So even though I already made a bunch of birthday cards with the kit itself, I had plenty extra to complete these cards as well. So they're just good to have around those card kits with lots of embellishments to play with. Just realized I hadn't used the stamps yet. I know I was just sharing how to use the deco foil adhesive transfers, but I did want to use the small hello stamp to make a background. I'm stamping it in two different colors of Catherine Pooler inks, just a couple of really subtle colors for the background, just says hello a bunch of times. And then I found one of the hellos that I foiled with the mystic rainbow foil and a sub sentiment that seemed to match. I'm gonna cut some of those white foam squares in half so I can pop up the sub sentiment and the main sentiment as well so that they really stand out from that cute stamped background. Be sure to check out this video over here to see the other designs that are available. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, just stop. The previous <laughs> self it <laughs> free leave <laughs> implies there's something else. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a little rough, but we got there.